and uh, I'll tell I'll tell Mr. PUBG to switch whenever you're ready. Whenever he's ready. But Mr. PUBG, as you can see, he runs some like kind of weird, obscure games. So I'm really curious to see what this is even. Uh, but again, that was that was a great run. Um, I think that was like I I almost want to look up the speed run. Fourteen oh eight is Mr. PUBG's world record by less than half a second over Toad. By the way, Toad 22484, legendary NES speedrunner. Mr. PUBG's got him beat on this leaderboard. So, shout outs to uh, to Mr. PUBG. That was three seconds off the world record, by the way. So, just a, just a casual, just a casual flawless run. Uh, we got another shmup. So this is this I think I see why it's in Sector X and not Inspector X. Cuz I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of insects. So we're going to yeah, Mr. Pupchi's going to take a little bit of a moment to to transition there. Um what is that what insect is that? Are we looking at on the title screen? That like sea cucumber with eyes I'm looking at. Well, it's gone now. Another another game with no audio on the uh on the demo and the title screen as well. This is exactly the weird sort of game I would expect Mr. PUBG to run. Sticking in the options, showing all the default options. Oh, are we playing for boys or for girls? Excuse me? This is a separate category, by the way. <laughs> this is girl normal mode. So I guess this is a meaningful gameplay choice and not just a sprite swap. This isn't this isn't a difficulty selection, is it? Oh, that would be so bad if it was. I hope I hope she just has a different shot pattern or something. But uh but today this one, this one's only for the girls. Boys out. Boys gotta cover your eyes. Um I I alone have a free pass. to watch because I have to. Someone's got to talk about this game. Though honestly the gameplay kind of spoke for itself from uh from Mr. PUBG. Uh that last run was just so solid. And yeah, this is this is literally <laughs> blind commentary. Uh Mr. PUBG couldn't find someone who knew the weird games that he runs. Uh, so he shows up to play the world record, and he is unfortunately unable to do um, his own commentary because uh, he's actually deaf. So um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't matter if the title screen doesn't have music to him. Um, but uh, he doesn't let that hold him back. He he comes here to play, and he does an incredible job. So I'm filling in. Um, thankfully, I have a lot of experience commentating uh, things I've never seen before. I've done commentary for like mystery tournament and blind races and stuff. Um, so hopefully that'll, that'll get us through, but I do apologize, uh, for not being the knowledgeable sort of commentator who walks you through the game. I'm here to experience this with you guys as we go. Um, so far the spread shot here of this adorable little girl riding this rocket is, uh, it's just absolutely dominating the screen. What is that? We got a box. It's like a lightning box. But the sound effect has drastically changed the comfort levels of the stream right now. It was pretty comfy, and it just got amped up. This was this was like a, an eight out of ten comfy stream, and these this bloopin' ass gun here is it's brought us down to a five. Five comfy, five hype. We're split down the middle. We'll see. We'll see how crazy this gets. Interesting that he's choosing to play at the top of the screen here rather than killing enemies. Sometimes enemies like explode in a really bad way and, and put projectiles all over the screen or something. We've got a homing shot or is it a sine wave shot? It's sine wave, I think. Nope, it's gone. We got a spread. 
The sprite is gone. We got something else now. Now there it is. What is happening? Do we have two shop buttons? This is this is quickly. I wonder. Like, I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of lag. So I feel like this is like a. Either this is sacrificing time lost due to lag from having all these sprites on screen, but it saves a ton of time on bosses, or this is like a, a race safe conceit that Mr. PUBG has made here. Not a race, but a, a marathon, a showcase. You can only get one run. So why not take steps to make sure that it goes smooth? Yeah, there are two shoot buttons. Makes sense, makes sense. So we're, we're, we got like a, a little bottle of toothpaste or like... No, you know what it is? It's like those mustard bottles. All right, so he puts all of his shot projectiles inside the boss's hitbox as it spawns as well as maybe some kind of, like, sacrifice play, but it's a double KO, and it's gone in Mr. PUBG's favor, so there goes the gigantic B-Boss. <laughs> oh, we lost, we lost the mustard bottle. I was, that, was my, that was my whole bit that I was about to get into. It was like when you go to, like, an old restaurant, and they've got those, those yellow and red ketchup and mustard bottles. We were riding on one of those for a while. S for speed? S for mustard? Not quite. That's for sauce, maybe. There it is. We're back on it. It's a lot more comfy, honestly, to have something to ride on. Just like a real bee. That's right. The dandelions, they're spreading their pollen, they're doing their thing. And I understand. You know, they gotta do what they gotta do to survive, but do they have to explode? Do they have to explode everything they land on? I feel like that part's unnecessary. We're leaving the jungle, we're flying out into a, a rather toxic looking planet here. Some awfully off color clouds are down there choking out citizens below. Our weapons are currently a giant line wave thing with also a sine wave. Alright, sine wave's been upgraded to the spread shot. That seems like a big upgrade. As cathartic as it is to do the Medusa sine wave pattern that is so hard to dodge and turn it around on enemies in a video game, it's just not as reliable as this spread shot that covers so much of the screen. Got a one-up here. Don't know if we're gonna need it. So far, Mr. Puff has looked very good. He's picked up the PP, which is shooting things backwards. He's positioned again. Is this going to be another another sacrifice? It looks like it is. Bang. <laughs> so this is maybe why one ups are important. I'm not sure if it's actually deducting from his his total life count. But uh, he has exploded another insect from within. Picked up 80,000 points. It's pretty close to topping at the highest score here. Starting the third level. Look at that fancy clock. I can't say I've ever seen a fancier clock in an S game. If nothing else, this game is number one in fancy clocks. Looks like we've dipped below those noxious looking clouds into the, the cityscape here that's maybe responsible for churning them out. I'm getting weirdly political here. Apparently when I just do commentary off the dome, I've got a I've got a message. Back to the back to the NES game. Mr. PUBG is, is just dominating, right? It's uh the spread shot is is killing absolutely everything. Unfortunately no dragon in this game, which means the music it's not guaranteed to be it's not guaranteed to be there anymore. I think we're already at the boss. No, okay, we're just transitioning to the next scene here. It did feel too short. We're into the sewer section. I didn't think a shmup would have a sewer level, but here we are. Not safe from the sewer level, even in a shmup. We've got the, the sine wave pattern here. Which is not ideal, right? We're looking for another upgrade to get that spread shot, I think. 
Oh, there it is. We got it. This is one of those games where I can't even tell if the music is good or bad because the sound effects are just dominating everything. transition are we are we in like a, a system of pipes or are we in like a computer now or something this is looking like a boss fight well maybe not a boss fight a boss experience a boss moment has just happened another sacrifice play uh, currently has three extra lives, just earned an extra one through score. Has also crushed the previous high score. Moving on to level four here. We got some spaghetti trees down at the bottom that are very highly detailed in a way that makes me like kind of uncomfortable. Like it, I can't, I, I don't see them as as tree roots. They, they look like something else, I don't know. I'm not really into it. I'm hoping we transition out of this jungle pretty soon. Into the swamp, uh, which is releasing the fish here. They don't seem too troublesome. We're getting into some stronger enemies now. They're resisting several shots. And that means this, that's when things get scary if you die and lose your power-ups. Um, that's when it gets tough, right? So uh, we're not back at the start of the screen. We do have this spread shot. Uh, he shot the power up to turn it blue. I don't know if that was intentional or not. But that's a pretty common shmup mechanic, is it? To, to give players choice in what weapons and upgrades they use, they'll just put one thing that spawns and then you can shoot it to change it, or you can wait and it'll change on its own to one that is maybe more desirable. Which also gives you, like, it's something to play around, right? You need to avoid it if you need if you're still waiting, um, and then once it's the thing you want, you need to find a path to get there. So it's a really, a really interesting way of, of having that kind of weapon diversity, uh, tying it into the game mechanics themselves. So we got the big line, which is doing a lot of damage, but we don't have a lot of coverage. So if things start coming in uh, from like the top and bottom of the screen. It's going to get tough pretty quick here, but so far, Mr. Pepsi has been able to, to play with just this big, chunky wall here. He's perfectly happy to dodge a lot of the... Oh man, cut that really close. Those two enemies swooping in there. Alright, has got through, but still does not have the sort of spread coverage you really be really hoping for it. Thankfully, it doesn't matter how strong your weapons are, if you can just blow up the boss from within, he gets tagged! We're gonna find out where these checkpoints are. I'm sure he just hit one. Right, so this is this is far from the worst death. We do lose that wall power up, and like I said, enemies are starting to take more hits, right? Even these little guys that come in waves, they're not getting mowed down quite the same. Though the base spread shot is, is doing a lot of work on some of these patterns. All right. We made it to the boss. We're in the dead center of the web. Here it comes. There it goes. Is that spider wearing, like, bondage gear? It's got, like, a harness on its thorax or abdomen. I can't remember what part that is back there. It's got four shoes on and four gloves. So there you go. Four, four legs, four arms on spiders. In case you were wondering. Moving on to the hive. We got one upgrade. We're shooting boxes. Are the shots lining up with the music or am I crazy? This is this is a comical sound effect to use for <laughs> for a game like this. You can't even hear the music. They are they are the music. They're just one instrument 
in this track. Encouraging you to play a shmup while also improvising your own music is a really bold choice that this game deserves credit for. So we picked up an S, um, which I think I think made us faster. I thought the, the mustard bottle was doing that, but we're clearly, uh, we're, we're definitely faster, so. All right. We're getting, we're getting a bit of spread coverage from our base weapon, but that uh, those Cheerios from before are really good. So we've got the sign move. It arcs out upwards first, so it's very good at hitting things just above you. Spike walls do not need to be dodged. They can just be obliterated. did get to hear the music and it's it, it's not it's not the best part of the game all right waiting for the power-ups turning blue we got the wow what is this the bomb arcs down to the floor explodes and then shoots a, a flame jet diagonally up into the right what a bizarre weapon i don't think it's going to matter at all no we actually have to fight this boss here we go and it's really good because it hits him from above that seemed really clean for Mr. PUBG. Uh, the estimate for this game is very close. So yes, that is the final boss. 1333 is the final time. Uh, let, me, let me quick look up uh, Mr. PUBG's time here. It's a 1303, so 30 seconds off the record. Just, uh, just two deaths in there. Very solid run, very well done. Mr. PUBG is a very cool person. Now that... Uh, the stream is mostly over. You can go ahead and <laughs> follow that stream. Uh, you know, bits and subs and, and, and whatever is available there because we don't care too much about the stream notifications anymore. Uh, I've been Mythical9. Uh, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, Mythical with an I instead of a Y and a 9. That's me in chat. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed my, my, my blind commentary for this game. If you want to know more about it, ask Mr. PUBG. Uh, that's going to do it. Uh, we're going to move on to the next run here in Best of Nest. There's so much more coming up, so stay tuned.